What's going on guys? Hippo is back for the next part of this tutorial. So in the last part we had gotten our pistol model exported and ready to go and we did a simple idle animation with him holding the weapon. Um, in this part I'm going to import the stuff and we're going to start setting up uh, his animation blueprint uh, for the pistol. Now I, you know, don't always need to show everything but sometimes I do uh, considering that there is actually a chance that um, things go wrong and what happens when they go wrong how do you react you know what what can you do so that's why I am showing this because something may or may not go wrong scale might be messed up something weird you never really know until you do it so I just brought in the cult python three player skeletal mesh okay and in this case we don't want a physics asset we don't have a skeleton for it so we don't try to pick one and we do not want to bring in meshes in the bone hierarchy because our bone hierarchy is all meshes so we hit import see hopefully no errors hopefully no glitches we take a look looks very pretty it's so nice Hi so love this gun not this model by the way not the 3d model of it the gun itself it is one of my favorites of all time it's so accurate so powerful it's just so sleek looking uh, it did bring in some kind of blank animation so I'm just gonna delete that sometimes that happens too like it'll it'll say hey you know uh, your export actually includes an animation because part of the FBX pipeline so we just we just leave it at that and then given that I just wanna drag it in the scene and make sure that the scale does feel pretty good and, and I think it's pretty good actually it, it, it don't look bad at all of course we're snapping to a grid here so turn that on yeah it looks it looks just fine scale is good and everything so there we go we can get that, that out of here alright um, the other thing we want to do is bring in that animation so let's go back here anim ue4 guy pistol idle so we want to bring that in so we just wait till it turns to a little plus release and again it's detecting that there's no animation or um, that it is an animation there's no mesh so we want the ue4 mannequin skeleton and then we hit a that should show up here and that should show him just holding his hand out like he's got the pistol like a so which is just fine okay so everything's working good uh, that's a kind of a relief I'll say so what we want to do now is essentially we want to set up this whole thing again but what we're gonna do is <coughs> tailor it for the pistol as opposed to the um, to to the rifle so what's gonna happen is our state machines here this is the things that we're gonna be swapping because this um, well that's theirs that's theirs uh, let's go back to the graph here this is ours okay whether or not you're holding the gun so we're just gonna change it to be the pistol so we're gonna need to duplicate some stuff and just swap the animations and that's all we're gonna do so coming back here we're gonna take this duplicate it and we're gonna call this um, 3p and MBP and actually we'll call this Colt Python and in blueprint okay so right it's called it but it obviously nothing's changed yet so let's go over to the animation really quick and we do have the pistol idle okay but we need to basically create the um, this guy here this blend we're gonna redo the blend now we can't duplicate from here uh, but we can go to the content browser and duplicate from here okay and this is gonna be yeah we'll call it Python such a good name for a gun the Python I named something else that too okay so uh, we have idle so there we go and we don't have a run yet but that's okay we're just gonna use idle for everything for now 
we're really not concerned about that. You can plug them in at any time and it will have no effect on anything no matter what. Okay? So uh, yes, I know when we when we go to run <laughs> when when we do stuff, his upper body is not going to do anything like really. It's just going to sit there waving the gun around, but it it, it gets the point across. Um so then and we go back to the anim everything closed. Okay. Anim graph. So we double click that beast. And we need to go into the state machine and to the idle run. And what we need to do is we need to replace this. So if we come to the asset browser, you should see the third person uh, blend for the Python here. So all we need to do is hook that guy up instead as soon as we compile. See? And that's all we needed to do, really, because uh, he's got, you know, his animations, and we're still blending. We're still doing everything from the from the original, and that's, like, a really nice thing, you know, to be able to do this. And I know, yes, we did have to duplicate the whole thing, um, but the, the, the fact is, is that the blend modes, they do need, whoa, we do need to have, um, you know, like, their own versions of, of the animation blueprint, you know? Okay, so, and everything else should still be normal. Now, what I want to do is I just want to test it on dude here. And we're going to do that by simply picking our cult python animation blueprint. Now, he's holding this gun, but let's just, let's just see how he behaves without the notion of doing anything. Okay, so all of that works. And I know that's funky, but it does work. Okay, the blend is working. It is working. Now the um Yeah, yeah, it is working. Okay. Okay, so we'll put that back. And now, what we want to do, hmm, should I do it in this part? Yeah, we'll do it in this part. Okay, um, trying to think, because I do this differently from my character, and I'm kind of hesitant to show you guys how I did it, because I did something. I guess it's not really weird to do that, but if you notice, in the scene, we actually have the weapon is in this guy's blueprint. It's here. It's right there, right? It's an added component. It's like hard-coded into him. It's not that we can't delete it or anything like that, but sometimes you may not want to do this. It depends on your game. It depends on how you handle your weapons, whether or not your weapons are categorized, and whether or not the player... And, how, it, and it also matters how many weapons can the player hold at one time that he can switch through. Because if you take a game like Battlefield, or, you know, like Call of Duty or something, <clears throat> the way those games tend to set it up is you actually only ever have three weapons. That's it. Three weapons, okay? You have a primary, a secondary, and like a frag. Maybe you have four and a fifth, you know, you have a deployable, and then you have some other thing that you can do. But in general, primary weapon, secondary weapon, and then frag or something. So a primary weapon uh, often is a pistol or often is considered the rifle, the secondary weapon being the pistol. However you feel about that is how you just want to how you want to set that up. Um, my game, Rats, has primary, secondary, frag. So what I did was I actually added a primary and a secondary uh, skeletal mesh so that regardless of what um, slot you're in, like whether or not you're in the primary or secondary, I can tell that mesh to say, hey, I'm using a primary weapon, it is the M16. So the secondary weapon is hidden, okay? The primary weapon is showing, the mesh is set to the M16. Now I've just picked up an AK. Well, the good news is I don't need to swap to a new primary weapon um, I don't need. Well, I don't need to swap from primary weapon. I just need to swap the primary weapon itself to a new mesh, and then swap the anim instance. Okay. So what we're gonna do is that. So we're gonna rename it. Okay. Primary weapon mesh, 
and we're going to add another skeletal mesh and this is going to be the secondary weapon mesh okay and this one is going to be design called python and you can see right away that the called python is not in the right spot so we're going to link it to the dude and pick the correct socket which will be his right hand okay we don't even actually officially need a socket and that should put the gun somewhere weird which it always does and we just need to reset this and it will now align to the socket And you can see it in his hand it's just inside the pistol and what we're gonna do is on default this weapon is hidden okay that's what happens on default so we compile that and now if we play you can see that there's a pistol in there Okay, but we're just gonna play, and it's it's really difficult to tell. I'm gonna um just just for now, I'm gonna go to self. I'm gonna type use, and I'm just gonna turn that off so I can look at it. So I can turn the camera and actually look at it. Okay, see now I can do this. Okay, so as you can see, there is no actual pistol there. If you you can see clearly the trigger area was where we would be seeing the pistol, so it's it's not actually there. Okay, so we need a um, input for swapping the gun, which we actually have swap weapon already. So let's go to event graph. I hate that, and I have it being used somewhere. Okay, so what we're doing is we're saying using rifle or use or not. Now, in, I named it that way because that was the only thing we had, but in reality what we're saying here is using primary weapon slot. Okay, that's what I want you guys to think of this as. Okay, so what happens when we, I'm just going to do this super simply, we can do a set anim instance class, okay, and we're going to need two of these guys, so when we're using the rifle, we want to use our third person anim blueprint, and when we're not using the rifle, we want to use our call it cool, our cult, our cult Python and in blueprint. Okay. The other thing that we want to have happen. Let's dupe that there, that there. Is we're gonna drag off one of these and we're gonna go hidden. Okay, so we're gonna set hidden in game and we need two each okay so if we're using the rifle we want the primary which is the rifle to be not hidden and we want the secondary which is the pistol to be hidden opposite here basically I don't usually like to stack things and drag them like this, but it's in this case, I think it just makes it visually easier to tell what's going on, that they're together like this. So when we're using the pistol, we want the rifle hidden, and we want the pistol not hidden. Again, pistol being the secondary mash. Okay. Now we're going to compile that. And the thing is, however, is in the event graph, Remember we did this? Remember we did this? We don't actually want to do this anymore. Yeah, we don't want to do this anymore because remember this was just turned it off and on. <clears throat> so that's gone. We already have this on a sequence, but there's actually no need for that. Now that we're not doing we're not doing two things, we're only doing one thing. And unfortunately I forgot to do this. 
Um, so I got to do it here too. It crashed. All he did was switch to a new tab. Fuck. Right, damn it. Oh, it's painful. It's so painful. Click, 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 click. dead in the water. I'm going to end the video here. Uh, when I come back, uh, we'll just continue where I left off. Sorry, I. what can I do?